Mark from guillotine chemistry. No, that's, that's, that's Lucy from my guillotine It's chemistry. Fez from the guillotine chemistry fan club. Oh, thanks. That's fine. That's fine. You and my mom. Um, so, hey, this is, is your Mark. Mom? Okay. I don't think my mom watches these videos. Um, <laughs> hey, this is Mark from guillotine chemistry. We're doing a pop-up review for Tuesday's test. Uh, we're going to talk about quantum numbers. Uh, which aren't that bad. It's more of a pattern recognition. And then we're going to do orbital diagrams. We might break this up into two short videos. Um, and so we'll see what they know and they can test what I know about quantum numbers. So uh, we're going to start with quantum numbers. Quantum numbers are the address where electrons live. Uh, N is the principal quantum number. All right, that's the basic energy level. Uh, so if you know anything about energy levels from any science class whatsoever, uh, the idea is that you can have one, two, three, four, et cetera. What's the highest energy level we will need for ground state electrons? Green. For ground state electrons? Oh. Let's try that again. So, how many energy levels are there in a typical atom? To hold seven. All the, yeah, if you're just holding ground state, seven. Because if you look at the periodic table, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven columns. So, N equals seven will hold all of your ground state electrons. Can you go higher than seven? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, yeah. so you'd have to be in a ground state, but what's it called? Up state. <laughs> or... What, when, air state. No, what do you call electrons that aren't in their ground state? Valence electrons. No. <laughs> um, isotopes, ions. Electrons? Excited. <clears throat> what? They're happy. excited. They're happy. They're protons. No, they're excited <laughs> electrons. They're oh. excited <laughs> electrons. So let's step back. Ready? Let's try that again. So what do you call electrons that aren't in their ground state? Excited. They're excited, right? So excited electrons could be higher than N equals seven. That's the power of editing there. See how intelligent we all see now? Okay. What are some values we can have for n? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Oh. yeah. Any any positive is right. Can we have halves? No. no. Zeros? No. no. Negative numbers. Uh -uh. No. no. So that's n. Any questions about just basic energy level? Mm -hmm. The higher it is, the farther away from the nucleus is. Now the, the toughest one is L. All right. L is the second quantum number. Okay. L is tough. Okay. Because there's a lot of embedded information in it. So we can look at this conceptually and then figure out the letter code or we can do the letter code and then figure it out conceptually. All right, but really what L is is what? L is the... Um, letter. Second quantum number. N minus one. Okay, all those were correct in their own way, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, all those were correct. As L is the letter designation of the subshell. You are correct, right? And it can be any value from zero to N minus one. And you said what? Second quantum number. And it is the second quantum number, so all, the, all of the above, right? So conceptually, remember that really what this is saying is L is the type of orbital you're in, all right? And every time you go up an energy level, you get a new type of orbital to live, okay? And that's the conceptual way of understanding this. On the first energy level, there's only how many types of orbitals? Because you're on the first, there's only one, right? On the second energy level, we introduce two, right? So now we have two types of orbitals. On the third, we have? Three. Three. And on the fourth and beyond, we have? Four. 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 But we won't go beyond that. Oh. We, because again, we're only worried about ground state. Mm. So if we're only worried about ground state, we will not need more than four types of orbitals. So conceptually, it's actually really easy, right? Because each energy level introduces a new type of orbital for electrons to live. Does that make sense? So on the first energy level, we only have S. Mm -hmm. On the second one, we have S and? P. P. On the third one, we have S, P, and D. D. And on the fourth one, we have S, P, D, and F. S, P, D, and F. Right? Now, the problem is when we put the number code in there. All right? Because, again, as Will pointed out, right, L can be anything from 0 to N minus 1. So it would have been easier if they just gave them designations of 1, 2, 3, but they did. So they start with 0. So on the first energy level, n equals 1, the only value for L is n minus 1, which is? Wait, what is n equals? n equals 1. Zero. Zero. One zero. zero. So 0 is the code for an s orbital. It's confusing. I get it. Right? So in terms of the number code, the s orbitals are 0. Okay? okay. At the second energy level, we can have that 0 again, but 2 minus 1 is? One. one, we did it, <laughs> right? And so one is the code for what type of orbital? Not S, but P. P. And again, that's just how it works. That's the code for P. That's the number code for P. On the third energy level, we can have zero, one, and now 
two, two. three minus one is two. two. And two is the code for D, D orbitals, right? Oh, wait, oh I see, I see. Okay. And so on the, on the fourth and beyond, we can now have L equals. L equals three. Four minus one is three. And, and F. 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 So you, have, you can look at it from either point of view. You can conceptually understand we open up a new orbital every time, SPDF, and then we'll stop there because that's all we need for ground state. Or you can do the number code and then figure out the letter to number code. There's no easy way of doing L. That's the most work. Okay? So that's L. So let's do some, let's, let's quiz. If N is 1, right, mm -hmm. can L be 2? No. 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 If N is 1, can L be 0? Yes. Yes. And L equals 0 is what type of orbital? Uh, S. S. Excellent. Perfect. Let's try another one. If N is 3, can L be 4? No. 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 Good. All right. In fact, do we even have an L4 right now? No. 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 So we don't have to worry about any orbitals beyond the F. Good. That's it. That's L. Okay. So once we have N and we know what type of orbital we're in, which is L, all right, what we learn from orbital diagrams is that, bless you, Thank you. that sometimes multiple orbitals show up. Now, again, there's two ways of doing this. We can do it conceptually and then back calculate the number code, or we can do the number code first. Now, let's do it conceptually. All right, whenever an S orbital shows up, how many S orbitals show up? One. 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 Okay, good. And so on the first energy level, there's only one S. And then on the second energy level, there's only one S. But then once we start getting P orbitals, how many Three. show up at a time? Three. Three. Now that, and you can just remember that pattern. Right, P's come in three. Right, so let's follow the pattern. One, I got these right fingers there. One, three, right, and then D comes in how many? Five or five. seven. Well, is D, is D five or seven? No, isn't it's five. Seven. F is seven. Yeah, D oh, is, it was under the same D name. is five, and then F is seven. Yeah. So if you remember that pattern, that's fine. Right, one, three, five, seven. It's just a pattern. Right, one orbital, three orbitals show up, five orbitals show up, seven or, seven orbitals show up. Okay. All right, but what's the number code for that, right? The number code for, and that's called M sub L, right? If you look at your notes, that's the magnetic quantum. How do you quantum pronounce code. that? M sub L, meaning M like sub, sub L. Because okay. think of it as subscript L. So M sub L, cursive L. So if you just remember that, one, three, five, seven, you're fine. But what's the code? Like M sub L can be anything from what? L to negative L. And that's very nice acronym, by the way. It can be anything from L to negative L. <laughs> right, so what does that mean, right? If L is zero, then the only value for M sub L is zero. Zero, zero. which means one orbital, right? It's given the address zero, okay? If L equals one, now what are my three values for M sub L? One, zero, negative one. zero, yeah, one, zero, negative one, which gives me the three equal <coughs> orbitals. Does that make sense? Yes. So that's the number code. Let's jump all the way to L equals three. How many orbitals is that then? Oh. One, oh. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six. Seven, Wait. right? Oh, yeah, seven. Six. Because it's negative three, negative two, negative, negative one, one, zero, one, two, two three. three. So it's up to wow. you which way you want to do it. You can do the number code and then figure out it's one, three, five, seven, or you can just know it's one, three, five, seven and back calculate the number code. Mm -hmm. That's M sub L. So let's do, let's do some more quizzes on M sub L, ready? So if N is two, two, could you have an M sub L of zero? Yeah. Yeah, because you're on the second energy level. So you can everybody you can always have an M sub L zero, right? Oh, uh, right? Yeah. Right? If my but let's say if my if my N is two, could I have an M sub L of negative three? No. No. Okay, so that, that that would be that would mean there were seven orbitals and those don't show up to the fourth energy level. Right? It's much easier just to link L and M sub L though. If L is one, can M sub L be negative one? Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. right? Because L orbitals are what kind of orbitals? They are. I mean, I'm sorry. L equals one orbitals are what kind of orbitals? Special orientation. Well, what? what, what P. P. Magnet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what, yeah. So if L equals one, those are P orbitals. And can you have a negative one P orbital? <laughs> if L is one, can M sub L be negative one? Yes. 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 Right, and that's the way you have to do it. However you want to do it. Listen, if you want to think about numbers, if that's easier, go with that way. If you just want to think about it conceptually and imagine three orbitals, negative one, zero, one, you can use both the visual and the codes to help you figure out the answers. Okay. 
I was gluten. See, yeah, someone's gonna, yeah, that's a gluten allergy witness. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right, so that's that's M sub L. Yeah. Okay. Now, last but not least is M sub S, which again, if you look at the notes, what's M sub S? It, it is. Uh, it is uh, it the spin quantum number. Spin quantum number. M sub S is actually easy. <laughs> All right, M sub S is either one Plus of two one values. Half or minus one half. Exactly, and that's it, you're done. As long as M sub S is either spin up or spin down, right, you are allowed to have that M sub S. The first electron in is always spin up, and the second one is always spin down. Oh. So that's M sub S. As long as it's plus one half or minus one half, you're good. You should be able to follow the pattern of yeah. you know, the different ends, and then the different ends cascade to the different values of L, and then the different Ls show you the different number of orbitals in that subshell, right? So you should be able to build off all that information. And that will be important when we link quantum numbers to orbital diagrams in our next review. Yay! So thanks for watching. If you oh, found this yeah. helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, we'll hit be back. Bell. Yeah, hit ring the bell for notifications. We'll be back. After Follow my... me on Instagram no, at no, it's no. Fez. <laughs> I'm cutting that out. With two Z's. No, no. With two Z's. I'm not in the That's not video. Yeah. Alright, no kumbaya. <laughs> <laughs> gonna be zero? Ow! I'm sorry. This is why we can't have food in the videos. Yeah, you're like. Um, do you have a napkin? I, I may have spilled a little raspberry. We have paper towels around us. You guys are making me do a lot of editing right now. They're not as hard as you thought. Oh, really? Who is it? Okay, why don't you go to the I nurse? Uh, I'm gonna write you, no, I'll give you a pass. I laugh at everything, yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. She hit her, I think she hit herself in the skirt with her back of the <laughs>